Hello, thank you for watching the T-Jet YouTube channel. Today we're going to be walking through the steps to install a repair kit in the NATO 1 flow meter. The steps for the 802 flow meter should be fairly similar. The first step we're going to do is to remove the sensor. Now if you look in here inside the sensor there is a gasket. We just want to make sure that that is still in place and hasn't shifted any. We'll set that to the side for now. Second step is going to be removing the retaining nut that holds the insert into the body. A disclaimer here, this is going to be very tight from the factory. The next step will be to take the insert out of the body. The easiest way to do that is to just reinstall the sensor. It gives you a little more leverage to get that up out of there. There you go. And then just take the sensor back off. This is the part that we will be replacing today. If you note the color of this uh, O-ring here, we're gonna, we need to know what that is here in just a little bit. A little more detail on this insert, some of the internal components. The stainless steel end caps on both ends of the main guide vane support house the bearings. Because this flow meter is bidirectional, there is a thrust bearing in each shaft support made of ruby in here and in here. The shaft actually rotates on a sapphire bearing, again, one on each side. The turbine itself is pressed into the shaft and they rotate together. The magnets are molded into the turbine that the sensor picks up. So if we get our repair kit out, you should have a replacement insert and two O-rings. Remember I said to note the color of the O-ring, you will replace the O-ring with the color that was on the old insert. On our old insert it was a black O-ring, so we will use that one. And so now we just insert. There we go. Then we just reinstall the insert into the body, snap it down in there. Replace the retaining nut. Uh, we do recommend hand tight on this. You don't have to crank it down with a pair of pliers. And then you reinstall the sensor. Now that the repair kit has been installed, your flow meter is ready to get installed back on your machine. Thanks for watching.